Welcome, welcome. It is Monday, and this right here is the All's Well Lifestyle Show. Big, big, big shout out to everybody that is listening on Cyber FM Positive. I love being able to broadcast this show about empowerment, about feeling good every single Monday. And to those of you that are able to view this broadcast right now. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you with me here today. This is the All's Well Lifestyle Show. My name is T. Marie, and every Monday we do this. It's a half an hour of feeling good, being empowered. We talk about different ways we can do this. We play some music. We have a good time. Now, this week, we're going to talk about feeling connected. But first, I just have to tell you a little something, something about my morning. Okay, so uh, I like to rock a very, or I'm sorry, sometimes I, I speak a little too slangy and uh, be, I don't want to do that because I know that I speak to people across the nation and the world and I want us all to understand each other. So let me just backtrack and let's start again. So I enjoy wearing a very, very short buzz cut hairstyle. I like this very much. I did this uh, uh, roughly two years ago and have not really looked back. I feel very free. I enjoy it very, very much. And so, you know, this is just something I do. And it was time for me to cut my hair. So here I am wanting to give myself a fresh buzz and I'm getting it on and I'm doing it. And uh, I was going a little quick. <laughs> and a little something happened, you guys and gals. I did a little something. And uh, I grazed my eyebrow <laughs> with the clippers. What? Okay. What is this? What is this right here? Okay. I grazed my eyebrow with the clippers. And the reason, I mean, Full full disclosure here, there was a gasp and then laughter that ensued at what I had just done. I have long eyebrows, and so I have essentially a little bit of a slash on the left side. And, and um, I almost considered doing the little, I don't know if anyone remembers when it was a style to do like a little uh, razor work in your eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I, and I almost considered it, but I was like, you already do the bald head. If you do a little razor work in your eyebrow, I don't know, are people, is it going to be a little too uh, throwback, a little too reminiscent of the 90s? Comment, let me know. Send me a tweet, comment if you're able to watch right now, if you are just hearing under the sound of my voice. And uh, just let me know, what are your thoughts? I love to include this. And full disclosure, you know, we're kicking it off with this why, because All's Well Lifestyle is all about feeling good and being empowered. And today we're talking about connection. And I want to be connected with you and just lay it all down. So do I look a little crazy? Yes, because I have one very full eyebrow. And now I have a, do you smell what the rock is cooking on the other side? And I don't know what's going to happen here. I mean, trust me, I will I will work with this. This may be the last time you see it this way, but um, it it's worthy of a laugh because we can feel good no matter what's happening. And when we do silly things or when silly things happen, uh, let's just let it go. Today we're talking about connection and we're talking about all the ways we can be connected. And the first thing is just letting ourselves be vulnerable with each other and really just being as authentic as we can, even when we do something totally silly, like shave off a portion of our eyebrow by accident. Um, what is that about? <laughs> so, you know, in the spirit of feeling connected and being connected, you know, I wanted to talk a little bit about just the fact that so many times just seeing each other and being together and really being honest about what's going on, it's just kind of wild because we don't really get to see each other. So what I mean by that is because of social media and all of the wonderful ways we can be connected, well, then there's this whole kind of wall, essentially. I'll give you an example. There are people that I've been connected with or that might be connected with me on social media 
And because every time I post, my handle is tmarie.com and my picture is a tiny little circle of whatever it is I choose at that time, and some people don't use their likeness at all, then we end up interacting with the avatar or the handle of that person. And so uh, we might not really be seeing each other. And this really, you know, is strange because we could be so connected and yet sometimes it's like, you could build a connection on social media with somebody for years and never really know their name. Isn't that crazy? So, uh, you know, I wanted to talk a little bit about this just to kick things off and, you know, in, engage in the opportunity for us to kind of like think and search and feel what makes us feel authentic, what makes us feel uh, good, what makes us feel connected, what would we like to see? And let's definitely avoid this, uh, what we're going to get into with our first song. Comment and let me know if you remember this song. Jeez, that really hits me hard. Where he says, we're eyes without a face and no one's getting noticed. Oh my gosh, you know, I really thought about that. And, you know, here every Monday, we talk about these concepts generally from a way to feel good and be empowered. And while it might not seem when we take that initial dive in, especially with the tone of the song and stuff, that we're going to do that. But ultimately, that's good news because we have the power to feel connected no matter what's happening. I think right now it's interesting that, you know, we have all these tools to feel connected, but ultimately nothing beats real connection, real connection. And how do we do that in a very digital world? That's the ticket there. That is the key, you know, because when we feel good and when we feel connected and when we feel that we have people, that we have people that can hear us out, care about us, listen to us, uh, when we feel seen, then we just all feel better. You know, even our strongest, our strongest friends and family members, sometimes them the most. You know, something that's really interesting, a lot of times with ministers, counselors, people that are in positions to take care of others and are generally considered the strong ones because they're usually helping others through very difficult times of their lives. A lot of times these folks, if they don't make it a point to have a mentor or someone that counsels them, then they are the highest at risk of feeling depressed, um, having these very negative states of mind and being simply because we all need help. We all need connection. We all need love. So how can we do this in a digital world? So how can we not be, you know, basically eyes without a face, right? Out there in this sea of avatars and handles and social media platforms and all this other stuff. You know, now as we move on to connect with one another in many online platforms like Zoom, I don't know if you've noticed, but there are folks that will not even let you see them at all or their room or anything. It's a black screen. So I get it. I mean, hey, they're finally in a position where they could be at home, right? And enjoy and tune in without having to experience the norm of getting dressed up and going out and putting on your best face. But at the same time, you know, it's kind of strange, especially if you're trying to get down into certain levels of intimacy, even on a business level. So one of the things that I've discovered that has been feeling better and better, and I'll tell you something, I am the first person to be reformed with this because, uh, hey, if you talk about guards and walls, mm -hmm. let me just tell you, Buckingham Palace has got nothing on me, okay? I've got soldiers for my soldiers. I've got my first wall and then my second wall. There's the I'm getting to know you wall. I think I can trust you wall. We got walls, honey. We got walls for days and guards to guard the walls. So <laughs> I'm the first person to tell you that as odd as it was to consider being more vulnerable and to consider being more open, once I have started to do that, it is the best. It is the best. And listen, 
part of the reason why I had all those walls to begin with was because, you know, I came up in the entertainment industry, meaning that was my childhood dream, something that I wanted to accomplish very badly. And so even in the industry that I chose, being a woman and the time frame that I chose it in, you know, having a stage name was something we were told to have. You know, you don't give out personal information, you need to be careful because you're out there, really publicly out there. So, you know, I'm not saying that we're all just maliciously closed. There's reasons to have a certain level of privacy and to take care of ourselves. But, you know, letting one thing stack upon another was really uh, challenging to break because then it's like, what do I share? You know, oh my gosh, I essentially have two personas. I have the person I put out there in the world and then there's the person I am with my grandma. You know, does anybody understand what I'm talking about? Comment, tweet, let me know if you too have a side of you that grandma sees and a side of you for the world. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but being authentic and letting ourselves shine more and more is really wonderful. So I'm not saying change your social media handle or anything, or now put out your face if you like to use a graphic of some other sort, but it's just fun to be able to explore ways we can be more connected, especially in this digital world, because there's just so many new, um, even though they may be innocent, there's so many new walls to navigate. Real connection. So uh, one of the things that I have to highlight certain people for is just thank you so much to those of you that do connect with me in a real way on social media. Thank you so much, especially to those of you who sign up to my email list, um, things like that, because there are different levels of connections electronically. So how can we do that for our friends and family, right? How can we basically show up more for people, our loved ones, our friends, our family in this digital world that we live in? How can we go beyond, and here's a hint, how can we go beyond just liking someone's picture and and letting that give us the illusion that we're now connected with them? That's a clue. (laughs) there are so many ways and thank god we can actually use technology to make us feel be and act truly more connected this is a wonderful wonderful um thing to know and consider because it lets us feel good feel empowered and realize that we have control over our relationships Technology can be a hindrance or it can be a tool. And if we use it as a tool, what's cool, I didn't mean for that to rhyme. (laughs) If we use it as a tool, what is cool is that anytime, day or night, we can be a loving force, an encouraging force, an inquisitive force, a force that says, I'm here for you. I see you. I love you. I support you. Tell me what's going on. We can do that at any time. Mm. I like the sound of that. Let's take a listen to this and think about that for a second. We have the chance to do that, friends. We have the chance to do that. And that is the empowering, emotional, wonderful, delicious part of being alive at this time, at this day and age. We can reach out across the world and give somebody that digital hug, that warm smile, that warm embrace, that piece of attention, that, 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 that advice, that uh, listening ear, we can do it. And um, that is absolutely a way that we can be connected in the deepest sense, even though now uh, digitally, sometimes it feels otherwise. Someone that does this so wonderfully is my father-in-law. He's so cool because he really will just call us or we can call him or he'll tune in to our stuff or he'll send us a text or a picture. And it's fun and easy and real and authentic. And it's so freeing to have that experience because 
it's the perfect use of our technology. When we moved across the country from Los Angeles, uh, from California to Michigan, we decided that we wanted to make it an opportunity to purposely be closer with family than ever before. And so we purposely begun to use technology to really reach out for mundane moments. And that's really what I want to talk about in terms of our PowerPoint. Woohoo! <laughs> our PowerPoint has to do with ways we can be connected no matter what and powerful ways that we can do it. And I'll tell you something our presence is the most powerful thing we have, our true presence. So on social media, when we're zipping by scrolling and we're just like, 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 that's nice because at least you left a little hint that you were there, that you passed by. But, you know, our presence really makes a difference. A little comment a direct message, a share, a repost, something that says, oh, I see what you're doing, or oh, congratulations on that. It really goes a long way. You know, and it's a simple, easy thing to do, and it's a way that we can provide our presence in the digital world. But of course, anytime we can provide our presence in the real 3D world that we live in, that is just as powerful too. So if you're in a position where you live farther than most of your folks, or you are used to doing things online for safety reasons or transportation reasons, there's options, but your presence is the best thing you've got. So also, I wanna throw this out there, Old fashioned is the new modern. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? If you write an actual physical letter, put it in an envelope, slap a stamp on it and send it away, that is so impressive in this day and age. It is fantastic. It is wonderful. Old fashioned is the new modern, is the new cool, is the new hip. Basically, if you can figure out a way to do the opposite of what everyone else is normally doing to stay connected, you are winning. Like, instead of texting or just commenting uh, on social media, if you pick up your phone and actually utilize it as a phone to call someone, oh my God. It is so, put it this way, it is so amazing that for some of us, it might be shocking. If I reach out to my kids and just call, they might not answer me because what a call is coming in, it's kind of like if you just drop by someone's house and visit, comment, text me, tweet me, send me a message and let me know. If you wouldn't be shocked in this day and age, if someone just showed up at your door. Let's be honest. Let's really break down the walls here, okay? So old-fashioned is the new modern. It's the way to go. So call, write real letters, uh, actually communicate on social without just pressing just the like, just the little heart and scrolling on. These are amazing. And a third thing I'd like to offer in today's PowerPoint... <laughs> is ordinary is best. Ordinary is the most sexy, luxurious, wonderful, warm, comforting, uh, hospitable way to be. What does this mean? Special occasions are phenomenal. We all love a special occasion, a party, a way to just let loose, but when we are in the ordinary, really spending time having those kinds of conversations that no one has to rush away from to welcome the new person coming in the door, when we're just able to find out habits about each other because we're spending that time together, oh, that is amazing. So, you know, 
let's consider that. Shout out to all our friends, all our loved ones. Thank you. You guys are my friends. We hang out every Monday and we talk about things that make our lives better. We dissect it, we celebrate it, we share what we think, and I love you for that. Thank you so much. Uh, we do get by with a little help from our friends, emotional, mental, physical, just being able to hash things out. So let's definitely use our power to be connected to stay empowered and to feel good along the process because when we connect with others, then we can feel better about what's going on because we're sharing it and we're not carrying a burden all alone or we're not wanting to express a happy point in our lives and feeling like we have no one. Okay, friends, unfortunately, I do have to wrap this up this week. I am going to be actually heading up a prayer for Ukraine, uh, uh, gosh, in about 15 minutes. So there's that happening. There's Invite God In, which is my Friday talk show having to do with faith-based talks to usher in God's presence. There's a lot going on, and I want you to really be a part of it because Again, we get by with a little help from our friends. And also, I love being in service in any way that I can be and sharing this information. So definitely connect with me at tmarie.com, T-E-E-M-A-R-E-E.com. And let's meet up same place, same time next week. Okay, see you again. Thank you so, so very much for being so amazing. Talk again soon. Bye, friends. I want to show you